Joe Panaccio joining us, uh, Coastal Broadcasting News down here. And uh, we have just a couple more questions for you, and, and thank you again for giving us some time, unfortunately. Thanks for having me there. I'd love to come down. I'd be happy to talk to you all day long. Yeah, we'll, we'll be down in Salem County, as a matter of fact, Friday. You had mentioned South Jersey. I don't, I don't buy into the Civil War, Dennis. I never did. People are people. Uh, I've knocked on doors in Newark. I've been to Camden County. I've been to Gloucester many, many times, Mercer County. And I purposely wanted to spend my evening in Salem County on Friday night, the night before the election, just as a symbolism to show people that I care as much for people that live in one part of the state as I do the others. Now, I can be in voter-rich northern counties, but I choose to spend my time in Salem County on Friday night. Well, uh, you know, if you're in the area, you can definitely uh, find out where you are. I'm assuming you probably can go to your website to find out that information uh, on the exact location. But just a couple more things here just to just to kind of wrap up and, and kind of get your thoughts out there. And obviously we do appreciate having a, a few minutes with you. But obviously you kind of addressed, you know, the fact that, you know, you're really only looking at, at Zimmer as, as the guy that you're running against. I think that I, I believe I read on a website that, uh, polling within your campaign kind of saw it as, you know, as within, you know, a couple points of each other between uh, yourself and... Well, we're, we're winning, but there's a margin of error. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's within a, yeah, just within a couple points but between you guys. Um, what what do you think is going to be the, the difference, What do, or what do you need to do to make sure that, you know, there is no margin, you get to where you want to be by, by June 3rd? What, what What has to happen in the next few days to make sure that, you know, the polling ends up working in your favor by the time June 3rd comes around. Well, that, Dennis, we're doing that. What we have to do is we have to draw a contrast between myself and Dick. Certainly him paying $169 on 23 acres of his property is not a good thing. But then uh, when we compare apples and apples, and which we've done, we find that po- voters like Joe Panaccio more than they like Dick Zimmer. Uh, Dick Zimmer raised the sales tax while, while he was in the legislature. Uh, I was approached to raise the sales tax, and I said no. Dick Zimmer raised property taxes by getting rid of the property uh, um, uh, property tax um, uh, depreciation. Uh, and in, I'm sorry, he raised income taxes by getting rid of the property tax exemption. Uh, I voted no when it came to raising income taxes. So we have a record that we can compare. So where Dick Zimmer calls himself a hero when it comes to, uh, to taxes, the only hero, quite frankly, he's been for has been for himself because he's managed to pay only $169 total on 23 acres of his estate. That's just not fair. And one last one for you, Joe. And uh, when, when you look, obviously, it, it's tough because, um, you know, I think that, like I mentioned, you know, you've had to deal with some of the stuff that's, that's happened within the state. And, there, and there's some separate issues there as far as the fact that, you know, right now that the current governor, you know, threatened to cut a lot of programs, cut state aid, uh, a lot of things that would impact the the average person or an average Joe, as you might be. Um, and, and, you know, obviously there's a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of things happening in Washington that that people would worry about as well. Um, when, when you're talking to these people, do you I mean, obviously you're, you're a senator or you're trying to run for Senate, excuse me. And and so you want you want to be able to take care of the Washington things, but you also have to show the concern that you know the fact that you know you have to speak out against what's happening in the state as well. So when when you're when you're dealing with that, what are your views on what's happening within the state? And you know if you did become a senator, as far as the United States, which gives you even you know even more of a forum to kind of you know talk about what's what's happening within the state of New Jersey because you're you're one of the two elected representatives in Washington of that position what would you say what what needs to happen in new jersey what are the changes that need to happen within this state to make this state you know back to where where it needs to be because obviously there seems to be a lot of things broken with the amount amount of things that have been thrown out uh by by the governor to try to get the get the budget under control well uh, i am a state legislator i've been down in the state legislature now for seven years i'm a state senator as we speak uh, I've never voted to increase anybody's taxes while I've been in the state, state legislature or in, the, uh, in my previous freeholder position. I think the state has raised 94 taxes while I've been down there. I've said na- no to all. What we have to do is we have to point out to the governor and the legislature that they have to stop taxing, they have to stop borrowing, they have to stop spending our 
money. We have a budget that's gone from 21 to $33 billion in the six and a half short years. Borrowing has gone from 15 to $37 billion. And yet property taxes at the same time, Dennis, have gone uh, up about 40 45%. It's just not fair, just not right. Uh, so everything that they're doing in Trenton, it's not helping the average person. It's not helping the average Joe. If anything, it's just throwing fuel on the fire. So they have to learn. We have to put Trenton on a diet. They have to stop spending, stop borrowing, and stop taxing. The government his answer to all this, by the way, is, well, let's sell the tolls, let's sell the toll roads, and let's increase tolls by 800%. Uh, why? That way he can pay off only half of that debt, and he can spend the other money. So his answer, quite frankly, is more the same. We have to draw a line in the sand, and we have to say no more taxing, no more borrowing, no more spending. And that is Joe Panaccio, and we thank you for uh, giving us some time. June 3rd is the primary, running against uh, Dick Zimmer and Murray Sabrin as well. And, uh, you know, we wish you the luck, and, uh, you know, good luck with everything going on here. And perhaps we will be talking to you uh, down the road if you're running for the Republican seat against whoever the Democrats might elect as well. Thank you, Dennis, and God bless you and all your listening audience. Okay, take care. Thank Have you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.